I know it was so interesting how you because it's such a ridiculous situation, yeah. but the entire movie hinges on it. And you it's the writing, the director, it's you and it's JLo. And you you make that moment work. But if you think about it, you I mean, you must have gone into it thinking, how are we going to make this believable? So what kind of how did you how did you do it as an actor? Like, OK, I'm going to come around to this idea in the course of about 20 seconds. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess it was, um, you know, it wasn't hard to kind of play the sort of, you know, shock um, of that moment and and the, you know, the awkwardness because we really were filming, I think, at Hammerstein Ballroom with a ton of people there in the audience. So, you know, just having everyone all of a sudden look at me and having, you know, J-Lo from the stage kind of point me out. I, I felt butterflies. I felt, you know, nervous. And so I wasn't, I didn't have to act that. And uh, I get sort of pushed up there. And uh, it, it, I just think that the awkwardness that I, you know, normally would feel standing in front of a you know, an audience like that, um, it all worked. And somehow I think with her um, kind of devastation, it's yeah. sort of that, um, that she kind of has this kind of, you know, what else can you show me attitude? Like, okay, you know, let's try this. And uh, where, where it seems sort of more sad, uh, and I guess that's what it kind of feels like, more sort of sad than, um, you know, the beginning of a, an actual marriage. It, it's, you kind of feel bad for her, I think. Yeah, she looks at you with, I I think it kind of works that you and then and Jennifer have a history on screen together a little bit, but yeah. also she's looking at you so pleading, you know, she's such yeah. a, a pleading quality to her eyes and your daughter is watching and you don't yeah. want to disappoint her. I It just really miraculously works. Yeah, I know. That's kind of how I felt. And, 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 and right. Uh, I, I agree there, there was sort of a, you know, kind of a, a wounded quality, um, you know, to her sort of standing up there kind of alone in the wedding thing where everyone kind of realizes she's sort of a joke because it's sort of breaking that news right then that her fiance has been cheating on her with her assistant. And um, yeah, so you could, you, you kind of uh, feel for her. And she just sort of as a person is a pretty formidable person. And so to see her sort of vulnerable, um, you don't see that that much. 